Every year, more than one million people suffer some form of traumatic brain injury. Well, every injury is different. The symptoms such as loss of sight, motor skills, and even memory are all just as frustrating. But tonight, we're learning there is help in our area. WECT Stacy Pino uh, talked with one traumatic brain injury survivor and has more on how a support group turned his life around. Stacy. John and Fran, Jason Burke says the person he was before his accident is not the same person he is today. His memory comes and goes, and despite having a wife and kids, he says he's felt alone. But with the help of the Brain Injury Support Group at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, he says he's on his way to making big changes. At a first glance, Jason Burke looks like a fully functioning 37-year-old. <laughs> but like most brain injury survivors, his wounds are below the surface. Hey, how are you? Good you? It was very frustrating. Um, do, sometimes I would sit and I looked at myself in the mirror and I, could, I knew my name was Jason. But seeing Jason in the mirror wasn't who I was seeing. I didn't know who he was. Jason was doing construction on a golf course when his cart hit a pothole, catapulting him through the air. They said I looked like a gymnast doing flips um, head over feet without using my hands. I hit my head a couple times and I ended up cracking my skull. After weeks in a coma and months in a rehab facility, Jason learned how to physically function. But his recovery had just started. This is not the trying time is when they're in the hospital. The trying time becomes when they're placed back in the real world. It wasn't until he started going to the hospital's brain injury support group that he finally started living again. And that's where I really learned that I'm not, there are others out there like me. TBI survivors take one night a month to open up about their fears and share their successes. You know, this guy's tried this, hey, I'm, I might try that. And you, you find different avenues to try to get yourself motivated back into some kind of life. A life that Jason is now proud of. I'm going to get through school, I'm going to create a new me, and I'm going to give back to what's been given to me. Now the support group is free and open to anyone who has suffered a brain injury or has a loved one who has. You can head to our website WECT.com for more information on how to get involved with this brain injury support group. Reporting in the studio, Stacey Pinnow, WECT News.